Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good times with Scar here, and welcome back to our creative house building series here on Scar World Building the Small House. And in today's episode, we're going to build a bathroom and work on our second story, design, details, skylights, and all sorts of other great stuff. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scar World and our creative house building series here at the S'more House Project. And hopefully your day is going well here and that I found you on a good day for some Minecraft building. And there's Bob up there doing his inspecting, keeping an eye on things. But let's head inside and take a look at some of our progress in the last two episodes. Of course, we've got our uh, entryway all built up and ready to go. We've got our staircase and all sorts of nice details. But in our last episode, we built the Twitch streaming studio for the house. And I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I wish this was real. I want this for my own house. And we just sit right here. We've got our boob arb. We've got our, you know, our webcam, our lights. And the two things that I did add in the meantime were, of course, a clock and a milkshake maker because, well, of course, you got to have a milkshake maker. And then um, just a clock. You got to keep a track of time when you're streaming. Time can fly. Time can fly. But we need to start working on our first story bathroom. So this is just kind of a half bathroom. And then we're going to work on all sorts of other fun and exciting details. But let's get right into it today. And we're going to start right here. So we're going to place that block right there just to get a baseline. And then we're going to have three blocks right here. Okay. So then we're going to go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. And then we're just going to bring this all the way up here. And as you can see, we're slowly starting to fill in the house. Just slowly but surely getting all the rooms and good stuff all set up and ready to go. And we're going to put that right there. And then I'm going to drop down here, head into my magical inventory, grab out myself some dark chocolate. And I'm going to space this out by... I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. So this is going to kind of help frame up the doorway. I'm going to bring that across there like so. And then I'm going to jump back into a magical inventory and find ourselves some dark wood stairs, okay? So this is kind of cool. Um, this is going to be one of the main styles for doorways that are within the chocolate wood because, you know, different walls are different, you know, colors, textures like the the quartz. And then this is going to, of course, be the uh, kind of the chocolatey fun center. All right, there we go. And let's jump over here, grab ourselves some uh, light gray. There we go. And we're going to stick that along here. And of course, that is our doorway. Looking good. Looking good. Let's go over here once again and find our quartz. All right. Then we're going to take our quartz and we're going to go like this. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. There we go. Bring that all the way across there. Now, I might push this back one block, but we'll see. Uh, let me jump back in here. Yes. So this block right here, we may, when we work on our living room, push that back. But I think for now, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Let's go in here now and remove the floor. Now for flooring, I feel like the ceiling color would be great. And that's our hardened clay. And we'll just sample that and then jump back down here and apply that. I think that looks good. I, look, I think that looks good. And it's always important, you know, to for houses to have, you know, a guest bathroom down below for your visitors and things um, so they don't go, you know, using your, your personal bathroom, um, stuff like that. There we go. And as you can see, I like the little transition by putting these stairs here. It just adds a little extra detail, a little extra dimension there. And can't go wrong with that in Minecraft. Adding a little extra detail never can go bad. There we go. And I'm going to sit that right there. And the next thing we need to do, we need to make a toilet. That's right. We need to make a toilet. Trying to get this back into the right spot. There we go. And then I'm going to stick this one right there. And I'm going to come back over here and place that right. Oh, oh. There, nope. There, there we go. That's what I want. Beautiful. All right. So then we'll jump back over here. And I think, I think I'm going to go with this for now. I'm going to go with this for now. Put that on top there like that. And yeah, I'm liking that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay. I'm going to put that up there for now. Clear that out of the way. And next thing we need to do, we need to add a sink. So we need to get a sink going. Hmm. Actually going to push the sink forward just one block. There we go. And push that forward one block so it's in line with the uh, the door like so. Beautiful. And then I'm going to jump back over and grab myself a hopper. And that always makes a beautiful sink. See that? Doesn't that look good? I think that looks good. There we go. And put that across there. And take some half slabs and run it like so. And okay. So this at this point, I'm not sure what I want to do for the ceiling. I do something like that. Let's grab some packed ice. One of my favorite mirror designs. Now, way back in the day, if you remember, um, we used a lot of glass for mirrors um, way back to the tree farm days. Um, so when we were working on the mother tree and all that good stuff. Um, now that we have packed ice and it's not affected by 
the lights. And that's just a win-win right there. That would have been amazing to have it back then trying to figure out, you know, how to do lighting, how to actually have a mirror. Um, I think that looks good. I think that looks really good. So, 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 so. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can put levers on packed ice, but I don't think you can place it on ice. Is that right? I don't think that's a thing, but it might be. Let me know. There we go. Puts that right there. And we've got ourselves kind of an awesome mirror. Like, that would be really cool to have a mirror that's just like a chunk, like just a solid chunk of glass. Like, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Okay, um, let's see. Let's... Hmm, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to lay out the uh, the ceiling here. And you know what? Kind of like it. Kind of like it. Kind of kind of like that a lot actually. Beautiful. And we can kind of swoop that around like that and making it look definitely pretty cool. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. Okay. Um we need to think about toilet paper. Toilet paper is always important for a bathroom, right? Got to make sure you have your toilet paper. So let me uh, get some of these small details down and I'll see you in just one second. All right, and welcome back. And look at that view going through all these windows. I think it'll be amazing having all these windows where all the rooms kind of connect together and you can really see out. When I build houses in Minecraft, I don't know about yourself, but I try to build things that I want in my own house. And that is like giant windows stretching about where you can see, you know, beautiful panoramas of the land that you're around. And I don't know, that's that's kind of my dream for like a really cool house where I have many dreams for different houses because that's what I love making is houses and things of that nature. And um, I don't know, I always find it fun to kind of experiment like that and try to think of like things that I would love in, you know, in my own type of environment. Similar to what we did with the Twitch room. We uh, did, you know, some fun things over there that was in that same similar style. So as you can see, there's our toilet. Trying to kind of decide how I want the toilet to fully function. I think it'll look, I think that looks good like that. What if we did just a pole going down like that? Um, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we could even connect these together. Let's just see. Let's just see. Hey, there we go. I like that. Maybe even a portrait right here would make this room finally come alive. So let's see if we can get the right portrait that we want. And there we go. I like that one. I think that'll look really good. Um, right here, this is a flower pot. Like this is just screaming for a flower pot. It's like, please, please put my flower pot here. There we go. I'll put that in there. And there we go. We've got ourselves a little bathroom off of our entryway for our guests in the house and I'm loving it. I think that came out really nice. So let's work on the upper level. All right and welcome back. So what I've done here is I've taken the dark chocolate and applied it to the floor. So we got that all set up and ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put hardened clay on either end of our staircase. So like that and then we'll do that on either side over here. Looking good, looking good. Now we're going to jump on down and we're going to replace. Oh, that is not what we're looking for. I grabbed the wrong block. There we go. And we're going to run these pieces along here. Now this will just give us a little bit extra detail for our flooring. Oh, I actually like that better. Let's um, let's do that. Let's wrap it around like that. Oh yeah, that looks way better. There we go. Sweet, I'm glad, uh, you know, sometimes little mistakes become uh, something kind of cool. There we go. Looking good, looking good. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is, oh, there it is, beautiful. We're gonna head into our magical inventory and grab our last piece we need. There we go, and we're gonna take our glass and we're gonna run that along there. Looking good, and then we'll bring that across over here. And this will give us our scar safe railings so we don't fall down. There we go, get that across there. And whoops, get that piece right there. And come on, there you go. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Mm, what are you doing to me? We're gonna come back, okay? We're gonna come back to that. There we go, looking good. So we got that all assembled and ready to go. And let's try it one more time. There we go, looking good, awesome. So next thing we're gonna do here is we're going to sample some spruce. There we go. And from this block right here, we're going to start running a wall going all the way across here. Now we're just going to do a solid wall. Eventually there's going to be doors and all sorts of fun little details um, built into the design. But for now, all we want is just getting this wall all the way across from that starting block right there, all the way down to that block right there. All right, and there we go. We've got ourselves a wall going all the way across. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly on over here and start bringing one out across here. So as you can see, we're gonna bring that, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on that eighth block, we're going to stagger another one, another one, another one like that, and then bring this piece across here to about there. 
and then we're gonna run this wall all the way from the existing block that was right here. So I just started to bring the wall across and we're gonna bring that one all the way up to about there. And there we go. So that is the wall design. So this will help us kind of plan out the rest of the rooms. And then with each respecting room, we will work with you know making sure all the dimensions and the walls are all correct. But this will just allow us to help us line up things and get things all lined up and symmetrical and just the way we like it. There we go. And then we'll just bring that piece all the way up here like that. And yeah, so let me continue to fill this in and let's work on that skylight. All right, skylight time. So let's jump up here. So onto this block and then look up and then we'll cut it all out till this block. So we're just going to use these as guides. So the railings are kind of our guides for the design. So we'll just kind of make sure that's lined up and then just run it all the way up to here to the very end and then cut in like that and then remove that marshmallow center beautiful there we go remove that wonderful okay um, next thing we're going to do we're going to move that and we're just going to start applying some half slabs to the roof line here there we go awesome let me cut that one out right there and then this will just allow us to bring in as much natural light as possible to the room and i think that is always good when we can have as much natural light in a house as possible instead of you know some type of man-made lighting there we go Looking good, looking good, awesome. And then we'll bring this, continue to bring this all the way across here. Now there's lots and lots of great designs that we have planned for this upper level, um, but these are just the basic interior design just to get us a place to start from. There we go. And then we'll bring this one along here like so. And then we'll bring this one over here like that. There we go. And cut that in there. And then I wanna open this up once again and create another skylight along the hallway. And that helps the hallway not feel so claustrophobic. So instead of kind of the tight corridor going across here, having a skylight and where you can see the sky up there, it really just kind of opens it up and makes it a lot more inviting. So let's jump into a magical inventory and find our light stained clay. There we go. And we're gonna bring that across there and looking good, looking good. So we'll stick our glass all the way across here and then we'll grab that and bring that across. And then we'll see if there's any more detail we can put in any other blocks here or there that would look good. But basically I think that kind of looks good. I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. There we go. And you can see all the different layers of the house, all the different little colors and different things like that coming together. And I think that looks really cool. So the question I have for you guys is, I'm feeling like we might need a door through here to get through, um, but I don't know yet. I haven't decided if that's an appropriate thing to do there yet, um, to put a door like something like that right in this area to go in and out. Now we have the door over there. We don't have one here, and I don't want to destroy the look there, but you know, it's something we can think about. It's definitely something to kind of ponder a little bit if that's something we want to do in the future. But there we go, my friends. We've got ourselves a super awesome guest bathroom on our lower level with mirrors and sinks and toilets and toilet paper all looking super fancy. And then on our upper level here, we've got our banister and our railings all assembled and ready to go. We've got our walls ready. And yeah, so now it's just time to slowly but surely add each and every one of our rooms here to make this house livable, something where we want to live. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Please, and then let me just run this one up to about here. I think it just needed a little bit of filling in, just a little bit of uh, something extra in those corners. I tried some uh, shelving units with some uh, potted plants